Hey, Stephen Haluska here from Cool Cleveland, and I'm talking with Dan Wenninger and Mike Sopko. And they're putting together a holiday concert like you've never heard before called Broken Ornaments. So, Dan, what is this Broken Ornaments concert? So it's a free jazz Christmas concert. Free jazz, free improv, crazy noise improv concert of uh, Christmas songs. Just ripping apart, deconstructing them, and just yeah, going off on Christmas songs. How are you uh, ripping them apart? How are you deconstructing them? Uh, a lot of melodies. We're taking some of the melodies and just kind of chopping them apart into maybe four bar sections, eight bar sections, and just kind of rearranging them and use them as, as little themes and just dissecting tunes, that sort of thing. Cool. You're going to love this concert. If you like music, this is the concert for you. If you like Christmas music, this is definitely the concert for you. And if you hate Christmas music, this is for sure the concert for you. What separates this concert from other avant-garde Christmas shows that I've seen is it kind of covers a wide spectrum of different styles. So, you know, I've heard of people doing holiday shows in the theme of Albert Eiler. So we have a tune or two that's like that. We kind of take an Ornette Coleman take on a tune. Um, noise Rock, Nels Kleinish, Sonic Youth. You get, you get a wide spectrum, a little Bill Frizzell in there, you know, and just try and make every tune a little bit different instead of one angle that you can, you know, you can pitch a certain way. It's pretty broad. So what does the instrumentation look like for this concert? So we got sax, trumpet, guitar, drums, we're looking for, bass. We're looking for a harp player. I don't know if you, if you know of anyone who plays harp. I don't know anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's Steven Lushka on harp. So uh, so what are the musical selections, and how did you guys choose these? We picked the songs. A lot of it was due to the melody. Like We picked some things that had kind of, kind of basic, focused, repetitive melodies that kind of worked well for what we were ripping apart. And then we picked a couple other ones that we just liked and just kind of came up with different arrangements for it. But it was just kind of songs we liked and just things that kind of fits the vibe we were trying to, to put on it. What could we uh, expect to hear? What, what songs? Uh, what we're doing a uh, Christmas song. Saw Three Ships, A Christmas Tree, uh, what else Green are we doing? Sleeves. Green Sleeves, uh, Little Drummer Boy, Have a Wonderful Christmas Time, the Paul McCartney song. Um, what else? I have trouble with these track titles because I know all these tunes from their melodies. So even <laughs> when Dan asks, okay, now we're playing Little Drummer Boy, I ask him, which one is that? Actually, I do know it. That's the Rumpa Pom Pom tune, yeah. right? Okay, so I do know that one. Bad example. But the other ones, I don't really know. I'm learning. That's been the greatest joy of this whole thing is to actually learn the real names of these songs instead of just humming the melodies all the time. So how would you guys go about arranging these? This is man right here. He had a, he had a, he had a pocket full of ideas. So we, he had about six of them arranged, and we hooked up. Um, the two of us just sax and guitar and work, worked on the tunes. The first rehearsal was pretty rough. We were just kind of getting the concept. Second one came together. We felt like we could perform it as a duo. It was full enough. And then we added the rhythm section for the next rehearsal and then the full band. And it just kind of, we kind of went, a, we tried to go a different direction with each tune and, and we just went that way until it started working. And it's, so we got probably like eight different zones we're going to go in and out of. Yeah. The tunes kind of define where they should go. You know, some were a little more complex. We had to do a little more arranging on them. Some were a little more basic. So we can kind of go off on them a little, little easier, you know. But every tune kind of defined, like, what's, what direction we wanted to go with it. So Cool. That sounds great. So Stephen Haluska from Cool Cleveland signing out.